You asked for more Makita, you asked for more XGT. We're at the Makita booth at World of Concrete for 2020. What year is this? 2025? It's, it's like a blur. <laughs> but we got Dave, it's gonna go over this beast right after this message from our sponsor, BCG Construction. Head on over to the merch store if you wanna help out with the channel. You get hats, hoodies, t-shirts. Link will be in the description below. Everybody. My name is Vince. We got David here. Hi, how's it going? Vince? How are you? Let's see you again. I gotta tell you, we saw this at, uh, was it staffed up for 2020? Yeah, unveiled it out there. <laughs> and we didn't have an opportunity to run it. Nope. Nope. But now we know. Specifically, this tool, we're, we're talking how many, it's uh, everything that a 14 inch saw can do. A, ga a traditional, let's just say, gas power. Exactly. From a power standpoint, we feel strongly we're, we're definitely there. We're gonna show it here in a minute by doing a side-by-side side side comparison. But, you know, there's all these other cool features that you would normally see with a cordless power cutter, right? There's soft start, electric brake, anti-feedback technology, piece it binds up, it's not gonna uh, uh, kick back on you, right? All those cool features. And, and you know, what, what's obvious is that, you know, with cordless, you're now eliminating emissions, right? No CO2 emissions, right? It's lower noise less maintenance, right? Um, I mean, you can use this indoors. Absolutely. Too strong, you, you can use this. But what we want to do today is we want to show that this is really a gas replacement based on the power performance, okay? Yes, we got low decibels. Yes, we got no emissions. Yes, we got all these obvious aspects, but the power aspect, if the power is not there, we, we racing? Yeah, we're gonna get one of our, one of our other guys here to run the gas. I like run, run the gas. Sure. I don't want to stake like gas. Okay. Do I get to run this or you run it? Then you run this guy and we'll, we'll give it a go. They said it's so simple, even a caveman can run it. The way we're doing this is that we're just bringing it up, scoring the top, okay. right, all the way back, just to mark your line. Okay. And then when you get to the back, dip in. What we're trying to do is kind of maintain that, that line it was more visible earlier, but there's that, that teal line that ends up. So, so we're looking at like, what, three inches? Of the yeah, next? it's about two inches or more or less. Yeah. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> What took so long? Why? <laughs> right? <laughs> this is impressive. True gas replacement. That's crazy. Uh, you don't have to worry, like you don't have to smell the gas, the yeah. fumes. It took us 15 minutes to turn it on this morning, okay? Yeah, for real. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about like the car being clogged, the, you know, clearing out the Venturi, the float, you know, yeah. pulling down the float and the jets and none of that crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, those batteries, We'll charge both of them in our dual bay charger in less than 80 minutes, 72 minutes. So 72 minutes, back Part to time. full charge, yep. back to work. Let's just say three or four foot, or three or four inch embedment. How many feet are we looking it's at? It's getting, depending on the variables obviously, right? But it's getting between 10 to 15 feet. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, Carlos, you. appreciate it. Breakers? Still, sure. So we 
got this guy, and then we got a 15 pounder over there breaking the vertical structure that we can talk about Look as well. Look at that, oh my god. Yep. This has all of the vibration isolation. Isolation? Isolation. Yeah, yeah. the ABT, the anti-vibration anti te technology. Yep, to reduce all the vibration. Um, yeah, it, does, it doesn't reduce good vibration though. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now, the, the amount of no vibration in this tool uh -huh. is ridiculous. Yeah. No vibration is something to be deceiving. That can, that can make it seem like it's not hitting as hard, right? Yes. But then you hear the tool really popping off right every time that, that impactor hits, and you see the productivity, how fast the concrete breaks. It's actually, it's actually kind of like quiet tools. Yeah. If yeah. it's not making the, the loud noise, it can't be. You ever see? You ever see a car driving down down, down your street? It's got like a glass pack muffler on it. It's yeah. You're like, man, that thing must be flying. It's just crawling. Yeah. It's kind of the yeah. same thing. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. I get you. <laughs> yeah, the I size mean, of the chunks that you're breaking. I know. So here's here's a question. Like when it comes to the battery power compared to its its quarter counterpart. Yeah. Like how how are you like is there a one time number or a, a feet demoed or how does that work? Like is there how you compare them? Is there a simple comparison? Yeah, a comparison in performance on corded versus cordless? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like how would you compare them? Yeah, yeah. So uh, normally what we'll do is we'll we'll take a given area, we'll pour, let's just say a two foot by two, two foot, and it has to be a side-by-side -side demo where you're breaking one with one and the other with the other, and whichever one fi finishes it faster. What, what, what I'm 100%, asking is, like, what can we expect runtime-wise with this pair of batteries? Like, yeah, that's, that's, so that's, there's a lot of variables there, yeah, but if so I had to put a number out there, I would say a solid 25 to 40 minutes. Gotcha. Yeah. Just because there's so many variables, Depending right? Depending on what you're breaking, what the you're PSI breaking. Of it, is it reinforced? Yeah. Makes is it sense. straight concrete? Is there a lot of reinforcement? Is it CMU? Is it red brick? Is right? There's so many variables out there. So what do we have over here? Yeah. Do, you mind, do you mind? Yeah. Can we break yeah. more stuff? Check it out. That's our 15 pounder right behind you there, and then again we have our 28 pounder, same as we just tested I, over there. I, I feel like, uh, personally, I feel like anybody would want to just grab the, the, the little guy. Absolutely. So if you got it, if you have an elevated position like this, where you got you got an upper zone right, right. that you want to address, and lighter is better, right? So you want to be able to lift it without right. too much fatigue. Go right smack in the center of the brick. Try that. That's sweet. You saw how efficient that one was. Now oh, yeah. try this guy. Feel free to go here. Feel free to go on CMU. The vibe, it's just, there's no there's no vibrations. Just good vibrations. What do what you think about the two tools and maybe with their, their, their purpose? Per personally, if I was going to attack this demo job, I, I'd definitely go here. Okay. Uh, I like the, the compactness. 
plenty of power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the combination. Mm -hmm. If I was going to, I like the idea that um, you do have the ability. It's it's light enough that you can go in horizontally. Yeah, yeah. But I would like that for more for ground work. And that's that's why you need lighter oh, hammers. But it's, it's a big boy. You know, you got really big hammers, thirty-five pounders, all the way up to seventy pounders. They all got their their uh, purpose of what what they're designed for. Sure. Uh, from, uh, in terms of popularity, that midsize twenty, kind of that twenty to twenty-eight pound, your most popular is most popular because it's so versatile, right? It back, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank Thanks. you so much for having me. Thank everything. you. Yeah, you're welcome. See you all on the next one. Thank you. Yo, great. Awesome, man. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do, tend to this guy. And you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.